Hello everyone, Kirith here. Now, people tell me this is the most difficult challenge in Grand Turismo 7. People are throwing their controllers against the wall trying to get a gold medal here. It is fiendishly difficult, maybe even bugged. People like Super GT basically are not getting the points that we're getting on this challenge. And why is that? I think it's because I've worked out a really simple technique to get the gold medal here. Now you can see on screen a run I've done using this technique and the gold quite easily. And it's not a fluke. I'm going to show you another run I did just a couple of minutes after and we got the gold medal again so i honestly think with this technique at home you're going to be able to get this gold fairly comfortably as long as you follow the techniques that i'm doing in this mission challenge i'm going to break it down into three different sections each of the sections is very simple to do when you bring it together quite easy to get that gold by the way if you do not think this is the most difficult challenge in grand Theft 7 let me know in the comments let me know what you think is more difficult and maybe i'll go on there smash that as well and do a guide video for you if you're struggling to get that gold. So here we go. Half speed first, and we're going to do it again 25% speed. So I'm going to break down three parts. Part number one for this corner is very counterintuitive. Do not break. Do not slow down. Just dab the handbrake and shift up to fifth gear halfway through. Really counterintuitive. Now for the second gate, you want to come in sideways. You're going to get some drifting points. And do not turn right until you're down to about 70 miles an hour. And then turn right in fourth gear. I see way too many people turn right here higher than 70 miles an hour and in a lower gear than fourth gear both those things are going to be absolutely disastrous to chances of getting a gold medal here you have to do this in fourth gear and you cannot turn in at higher than 70 miles an hour because you're just going to go off the track so here we go and maximize and drift at the end could have got a few more points actually and this is my second run i did we're going to slow this down to 25 percent speed so really going to break down three different parts of this here's the first part turn left here at maximum speed to no break and we're going to shift up halfway through. So turn in, shift up, maximum speed, and it's quite easy to get 2,700 points. So if you're getting lower than 2,700 points, or much lower, then you're probably not doing that right. Keep this drift going, and then we're going to scrub the speed here with a bit of side to side. So we're scrubbing the speed. You can see getting some points, and we're not going to turn right until we get down to 70 miles an hour. There you go, 70 miles an hour. And now we're turning right on fourth in fourth gear on the power. And we're going to hold this drift so nicely. So if you've struggled to find the equilibrium for the second part of the challenge, that's it. 70 mile an hour turn in fourth gear. And it's actually really, really, really easy to hold this drift in fourth gear. If you're doing getting second and third, you're just going to be hitting limiter. Really difficult. You see here, just the points are climbing, climbing, climbing. I'm barely doing anything. I'm maximum uh, throttle all the way left on the controller. And now you can see we're going to just eke out as many points as we can do. And then once we go over the gate, just hold it left a little bit. And we're going to go over the line. And again, it's going to be 7,805 points. So, I mean, I think once you've got this technique down, it's really, really, really easy. Give it a shot if you're struggling. Let me know in the comments how you found it. Did you think I explained that well enough? Because I'm 100% sure that the technique is really easy to use but maybe I'm struggling to explain it. So let me know in the comments if I explained it well to you. Let me know if you've now got that gold medal. Let me know if you've got any other difficult bits in Gran Turismo 7 you think I can help you with because I played a lot of Gran Turismo in my life and uh, maybe too much. <laughs> and hopefully I can share some of that knowledge with you guys and girls at home. But anyway, that's, that's this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.